If you are an Amazon seller and you have a pulse, this video could change your business. Now look, I realize that's a dramatic statement, but it's absolutely true. That's because today, if you watch and implement what I'm about to talk about, how you launch, re-rank and grow your products on Amazon could dramatically change. You've probably heard the term bring a knife to a gunfight. Well, what if you brought an atomic weapon when competing against others on Amazon? This is a game changer. It's going to disrupt external traffic and Google ads, and it might just shift how you sell on Amazon. Let's go. All right, guys, we're going to dive right into this thing. And as you know, I don't talk about things that I don't believe in, that I haven't used, and that haven't had an impact on my business. And today's video is no different. You've heard me talking about external traffic and the power of external traffic driving to your Amazon listing for years. Because the fact is, everybody's been using the exact same diminishing playbook. It started years ago with many chat and rebates and rebate key. Then everyone's now focused on Amazon pay per click. But there's a missing piece of the puzzle. And this is what elite brands do. This is what elite Amazon sellers do. And this is what successful, especially premium products on Amazon are executing. So to rewind the clock three years ago, I really didn't buy into this whole rebate stuff. It just gave me a bad taste in my mouth. And I started figuring out, well, what's the next thing to launch products? Because that's how you were launching products back three, four years ago. And I discovered a secret set of data within Amazon. Because any consumer in the United States can actually do a data request through the state of California, I decided to do that for my own personal buyer Amazon account. And what I found was a treasure trove of data. We're talking 60 plus zip folders, every single transaction, click, search, device I've used, et cetera, to search on the amazon.com platform as a shopper since 2009 when my account was created. Now this is the video I talked about, I'll leave a link down below, but the so what of that is, is that Amazon has been tracking whether traffic is coming from external sources. More importantly than that, it's been tracking whether those external traffic sources are ads. And while no one has access to the Amazon algorithm, one thing I can say is true based on my business and the hundreds of other businesses that have implemented strategies like this. External traffic is rewarded, external traffic improves your organic rank, and regardless of whether those people purchase your product or not, you're gonna typically see a spike in the performance of your Amazon product. So to take this a little bit further, I did a deep dive video. It's actually the second most popular video on this YouTube channel with over 30,000 views, all on how to run Google ads. It's popular because it's powerful and it works. But the problem with this strategy is it's time consuming and honestly a little bit difficult to implement. You've got to understand the Google ads platform. You've got to understand how to write ads. You've got to know what keywords to use. You've got to know how to target. You've got to know how to do optimized bids. And when Amazon attribution came out, which basically rewards you with a 10% bonus for any sales that you drive from external traffic, it got really complicated quickly. Enter the atomic weapon, enter the external ads game changer, enter the Google ads game changer for Amazon, pixel me. Now I've been looking at ways to optimize my Google ads for quite a while, literally the last couple of years, and I've yet to see something this powerful, this game changing, and this easy. Again, I don't talk about stuff that I don't believe in, and this may be one of the biggest shifts I've ever seen and how to launch and re-rank products on Amazon. It solves a lot of problems. Number one, it's easy to set up. You just need to have a Google Ads account, but you don't need to understand Google Ads or Google setup at all. You don't need to understand how to set up Google attribution to get that 10% bonus. It does it all in the back end. And using ChatGPT even creates the ads and suggestions for you. So it takes out that guesswork. But beyond that, it has some really innovative ways to target the keywords that matter and something that's truly unique, which it takes exact keyword campaigns and it optimizes them for conversion. So before it used to be just about throwing some traffic and improving organic results, which it did, but now you can really hone in your budget, optimize for performance and see actual ROI accretive ads from Google to Amazon. You're optimizing for conversion, you're using really sophisticated keywords that matter, and you're integrating AI with ChatGPT to write the best ads literally in minutes. So why do you care about this? Well, as you know, it's harder to launch products now. Most people just throw up a product, they optimize the listing and they do some Amazon pay-per-click. Well, that can work when you have these secret arsenals that other sellers aren't using and when they're easy and inexpensive to implement, it can take those launches to the next level. If you've got a stodgy product that say used to be top five organic and now it's slipped and slipped and slipped and you don't know what to do, this is one of those powerful strategies that can help you retain your former ranking. If you're doing a seasonal push, say right before Q4, you can spike your organic rank ride that rank into the peak season and spend less on Amazon pay-per-click. The old playbook doesn't work anymore. 
the old playbook is unpredictable and this changes that. Now the best part is, is that you can set this all up in literally under 30 minutes. I'm talking all the products in your catalog, dozens of campaigns, and only the keywords that strategically matter to your business. And it's got a ton of use cases. This is good for new launches, reviving ranking of old products, maintaining or defending your position, optimizing your ad spend and shifting to inexpensive cost clicks from Google instead of expensive ones from Amazon. And again, driving those seasonal rank spikes that matter. This is gonna work best for products that have at least a four star rating, ideally a 4.3 or higher. While it can work for inexpensive products that are in the 10 to $20 range, it really gets powerful and it really gets ROI accretive when you get into those medium to high ticket products that are say over 50 or $100. It's crazy powerful if you're seeing cost per clicks for your Amazon pay-per-click from say two to $4 plus, because oftentimes with Google ads, you can get that in the one to $2 range and it's super inexpensive. We're talking 10 to 25 bucks per day to see these results. So if you're spending at least a thousand bucks on ads for one of your products on Amazon, if you're doing over 10,000 a month and you wanna harness the power of those use cases I talked about before, strap in, we've got a quick eight step process I'm gonna walk through for how you can get this done literally today. So again, this is Pixel Me, and I reached out to Carbon6 and said, hey, I wanna hook up literally the best deal that's ever been given on Pixel Me. So you can get 25% off this tool via the link down below. But it's super simple, I'm gonna walk through these eight steps. The first thing you're gonna wanna do is go to your actual Amazon listing and copy the canonical URL at the top of your search bar. After you set up your Pixel Me account, you can go to the dashboard on the top right there, there's an add product section. All you need to do is click that button, copy that URL into that section, and then save your product. Now what's really cool about this is it's gonna pull in all the Amazon information into this dashboard. So it's gonna have your description, it's gonna have your price, all of those elements. If you already know the keywords you wanna rank for or re-rank for or defend, you can plug those in here. You can also copy all of the relevant competitive ASINs into the section here. You then save it and it's gonna give you a dashboard like this. Obviously we have no data in this specific example, but as you start running ads, you can start to see what the spend is, what the conversion is, what the clicks are, and also how the rank is changing on Amazon for specific keywords and the total economic performance of those ads, including the Amazon attribution 10% bonus. So you can see how much these things are costing you, where you're making money, where you can optimize. Now step three is basically setting up a new campaign. You can do this across different platforms, Meta, TikTok, et cetera. But most use cases and that have the most power and ease is gonna be Google Ads. So we're gonna go ahead and click Google Ads here. Now you're gonna to wanna to set up a Google Ads account underneath your brand. Again, that's gonna take less than five minutes. Once that's set up, you can actually tie it in here to Pixel Me, and then from the drop down, you just select the Amazon ad or brand account you want. If you've got multiple brands like I do, you can run all these through Pixel Me, just changing the drop down. Now what's really cool about this is, is learning Google Ads and their platform can honestly be confusing and a pain in the butt. It all brings it in here so you don't ever have to log in to your Google Ads account again. You can set up all these ads right now, which is step five to set up those campaigns campaign settings. You can name this campaign whatever you want. So if you've got specific naming nomenclature, you can plug that in here. You can select the daily budget. I'm going to recommend somewhere between 10 and $25, depending on the goals of your product. And equally important, you can set the actual max bids. So let's say you're running a 350 cost per click on Amazon and you want to run some cheaper clicks to drive rank. You can set that for a buck, a buck 50, two bucks. You select and choose that here. But typically you're going to want your cost per click to be somewhere around 10% of the product itself. So if it's a $20 product, set that at two bucks. Bucks. If it's a $50 product, set it at five. This because it gives you a little bit more wiggle room to be profitable based on the actual price of your product. Now, what's incredible about this and one of the key differences and why I'm a key believer in Pixel Me is it's not just driving random traffic on broad and phrased key terms. It's selecting specific keywords, but it's also optimizing those based on the most likely conversion behavior, which literally no one else is doing and would be very difficult for you to do yourself using just Google. This is optimizing for user demographics location, time of day, device type, and audience list. The so what of this is that you can expect a 30 plus percentage point increase in your conversion rate for most campaigns and a 60 plus percent reduction in your cost per acquisition. Step six is to select your keywords. And again, this is where some of the secret sauce of Pixel Me comes in to make this really easy because they're optimizing for the Google keywords to select based on Amazon search volume, but also Google search volume. So you wanna have enough search volume on Google as well as Amazon to make it worth your while and to make it worth spending money and ranking on. It looks at your current rank. Once you plug in competitors, it looks at competitor ranks. And then it also takes the cost per click on Amazon to find optimization opportunities within Google itself. For step seven, all you've got to do is set up the ad group, 
which is going to take basically all of those keywords that you add from that previous section on the keywords. So maybe you're targeting keywords for launch, or maybe you're ranked 10 and you want to go after competitors that are ranking one or two and lift that rank. Whatever those keywords are that you select, you can add those here and review them. If you want to change them, you can do that here. But what's also interesting is it sets up exact match. I'm not going to get into details and you can watch that 45 minute video to set up Google ads yourself if you want, but it's confusing to set up these ad types. And frankly, exact match is going to drive the biggest bang for the buck, the biggest conversion benefit, the best ROI, and why we're all doing this, the best rank on Amazon. Once you click next, it's then going to let you set up an ad again, another secret sauce thing that literally blew my socks off when I first set this up is this bringing in chat GPT five. It's analyzing your description. It's analyzing your competitors and it's bringing in hyper conversion oriented language that makes your ad super powerful. So you can bring in suggested headlines and select those It automatically brings those in to set your ad up. It brings in suggested descriptions. Again, you can select those customizable, bring them in, or you can type in and create your own ad if you wish, or fuse the two together. Once that's done, you see a preview of an ad like this. This is just a very basic example. Obviously you'd massage this for your own case. If you like that, you basically hit go and then the ad is set up. Beyond that, step eight is literally just to optimize this. You typically wanna wait one to two weeks, see how things are humming. You can turn off words, you can change bids, but most of the work is gonna happen behind the scenes and equally important, you can track those keywords that matter that you're driving traffic to and seeing how the corresponding rank occurs on Amazon. So you can see what's working, what's not. Simple, easy, done. And the cherry on top with this, every single click and person that comes from a Google ad to your Amazon listing will actually get pixeled. This is a little snippet of code that enables you to retarget them both on Google, on Facebook, on TikTok. So as you get a more sophisticated traffic loop, you can retarget those customers from your ads and over time have an army of people available for new launches and for new campaigns you want to launch. Now the cost of this stuff, in my opinion, is actually really cheap. You could have this done for you and set up from pixel me. They basically jump on a call with you every single month. They set everything up. They optimize things for you. It's $200 per product per month. With this, they're doing the research, the ad creation, they're finding the keywords, they're optimizing. And this is what's cool. If you don't like it, if you don't see performance, they've got a no questions asked policy where after two months, you can literally say it didn't work for me and they'll give you the money back. In addition to that, if you jump on a call with them, there's also options if you wanna just run this yourself. If you look at what you spend money on pay-per-click, if you look at how you spend money for other launch strategies, this is a drop in the bucket. For literally two to 400 bucks a month per product, including ad costs, you could see thousands upon thousands of profit in the rank benefit and the ROI benefit of the ads that you create. But don't just take my word for it. There's some cool case studies here I'm gonna go over. In this first one, we see a typical case with a lot of Amazon sellers have faced, which is a product that's been around for years and their organic rank has plummeted. In this particular example, after running this exact strategy on a keyword that had 48,000 in search volume on Amazon, which is a big word, they went from spot 50 organic to spot 11. And this is done with a 15% blended A cost, or if you factor in the organic benefit, 5% cost on ads, literally unheard of. Let's take a new launch example. This product targeted a keyword with almost 5,000 monthly searches and went from off the map, not even indexed, to spot number six. Again, much less expensively than it would have cost with Amazon pay-per-click alone. Now let's take a high ticket example, and this one actually blew my mind. Remember, when you drive external traffic to Amazon and it converts, they pay you 10%. Well, for this $250 plus product, they were actually able to get it such that their cost of the ads converting from Google was less than 10%. So Amazon was actually paying them to run ads that converted to the Amazon listing. They literally had an infinite ROAS, which is a holy grail in digital marketing and certainly for Amazon sellers. So I'm gonna stop there and literally just say, that's it. It's that simple, it's that easy. And I have been a fervent believer in external traffic going back three years ago before most people were paying attention to this stuff. Once I discovered that secret data that Amazon was housing on my own buyer account, the light bulb went off and I said, I need to start running traffic. And I've been doing it for years with a ton of benefit that other competitors just aren't getting. But it's now gotten easier, it's gotten faster, it's gotten much more efficient, and you can actually optimize your spend versus just sending clicks. PixelMe may be one of the most important software tools I've discovered this year, and I hope it will be for your business. So don't just sit here and consume information, I've done that too, and I watched the next YouTube video and the next one. This is something that if you click that link down below, 
You can set up a call with Carbon 6, be set up in less than 15 to 30 minutes, get off for the races, see the performance, and get back to running your business and doing what you do best. But doing it with an atomic weapon, an advantage that very few Amazon sellers understand and that very few Amazon sellers are taking advantage of. This is the new playbook. This is the new era of Amazon. This is how we're growing and scaling brands in 2024 and beyond. If you like this one, as always, hit subscribe if this is your first time here. I'm gonna to continue to drop as many bombs as I can, including external traffic strategies, so that you can harness, learn from my mistakes, learn from my wins, so we can lock arms together and grow and scale our Amazon brands. Till next week, cheers guys.